The powerful magic archer is one of the final vocations you can unlock in Dragon's Dogma 2, giving you Arisen the power to unleash a barrage of elemental attacks at enemies far and wide. This twist on the popular job class from the first game is wildly different and also incredibly easy to miss. If you don't explore the final island of the game in a very specific way, you will miss out on this vocation entirely. And the vocation giver and the maester are the same person. You will unlock the most powerful skill and job class itself in one fell swoop. Where to go first? Volcanic Island. The Magic Archer NPC is located on Volcanic Island in the far, far south of the map. This area is only unlocked late in the story but you can travel to Volcano Island through an alternative route. If you've progressed to Volcano Island normally, you can skip this next section. Otherwise, here's how to reach Volcano Island much earlier and skip the story. Reaching Volcanic Island From the nation of Batal, which you can reach early by following one of the two mountain paths, travel south from the capital city of Bak Batal. Far to the south, through the canyons, you will reach a huge cave called Drapnia's Grotto. Pass through Drabnia's Grotto to reach the land bridge reaching to the west entrance to Volcanic Island. Drabnia's Grotto is a long and dangerous cave system. Before entering, make sure to bring extra lantern oil as the track is especially dangerous. Once you exit, you'll reach the far west shore of Volcanic Island. Put a spring in thy step. On the west path, you will encounter a dwarf. To unlock the vocation, you will need to complete his quest put a spring in thy step. Talk to the dwarf on the road and he will request three wildflowers. Any three will do and you can collect them nearby. The dwarf will then ask you to visit his home. Also nearby, the location is marked as Windwalker's home on the map. Walk across the shallow water path through the sea to reach it. Inside, you will meet the dwarf's wife. Talk to the dwarf again and agree to take him to the hot springs. Follow the road east until you reach the volcanic island camp and then take the ladders up into the cave to reach the springs. To make this quest easier, you can pick up and carry the dwarf. He is very slow, so if you run too far ahead, he will yell at you to slow down. This can get rather annoying. Pick him up with the grab command and put him down when the monsters appear. Take care of the monsters and then repeat. The most dangerous monster is the enhanced golem. This powerful golem is covered in weak spots though and you can choose to fight it or just sprint right past it whilst carrying your dwarf friend. How to unlock the magic archer. Once you reach the volcanic island camp, you are home free. Completing this quest will unlock the magic archer vocation and the meister ability. After completing the quest, the dwarf's wife will appear. Her bond with you will then max out instantly for your help. She will reveal that she is the magic archer maester and immediately unlock both the vocation and the maester ability. The maester's ability is the spell bow's paradox tome which unlocks the martyr's bolt ability. You can equip this ability at any vocation guild. And that's almost all the vocations unlocked. There's just one vocation left to earn, the Warfarer, which gives you access to all the weapons in the game, all at the same time. You'll want to unlock everything else first. This is easily done. Well done.